Hello, and welcome to the second screencast from the Pool Party series. We begin with a short introduction to the world of control vocabularies. Taxonomies, ontologies, and thesauri are used to build control vocabularies, which all contain terms, their synonyms, and alternative descriptions. A taxonomy model is the light variant of a control vocabulary. The taxonomy covers terms which are exclusively accorded to a hierarchical structure in order to classify a certain range of topics. Here's an example showing a classification of objects and available subclasses. I can illustrate the hierarchies, but not the relations. Ontologies are the heavy counterpart to taxonomies. They usually exhibit a complex syntax in order to define characteristics, axioms, and restrictions of a vocabulary. So, handling ontologies becomes a challenge, if one doesn't want to spend much time getting comfortable with this complexity. An example of ontology. Let's look at Pablo Picasso. The sauri are in the balanced center between the two other models, because with the thesaurus you can also add non-hierarchical relations between concepts, but more simply. Now, let's go deeper into the characteristics and functions of the web-based thesaurus manager, Pool Party. Pool Party has an intuitive interface. On the left, there's the thesaurus tree, with projects, the thesauri, and pertinent concepts and subconcepts. Concepts can be provided simply by mouse click and get automatically linked to the top concept above. Afterwards, the concepts can be enriched with relations and context information. Here, I created a new concept, the city Luang Prabang. Since I was already there, I know a place worth seeing. The temple, Wat Siang Tong. I add the term to the concept, sites, and afterwards I set the relation that the temple is in Luang Prabang. Still, another must-visit occurs to me, which is Angkor Tham, one of the beautiful Angkor temples in western Cambodia. Here I can use another kind of relation. The two concepts are related with one another, because they are both temples. Within the range, related concepts, I enter the first letters of the term Wat Siang Tong, and get automatically the correct proposal by the integrated autocomplete function. In the right section, you see the fields Preferred Label, Alternative Labels, and Hidden Labels. By the example, the purpose shows itself. With the help of our thesaurus, we make sure that the desired information is found fast. But there is not always just one name for a term. We can specify here under which names a term is to be found, for example, also with incorrect ways of writing. Further down, you see the areas Notation, Scope Notes and Definitions. With these functions, you can add a specification to the term in order to define clearly what the term describes and which aspects are no longer covered with the term. Now, we focus on the horizontal tabs in the overview. I can operate very individual metadata management in order to structure the concepts exactly. We will look into this in more detail in one of the next screencasts. With Pool Party, I can import documents of most different form. In order to enrich the Thesaurus with further concepts and to provide text to the documents out of the Thesaurus concepts. The tab Linked Data will be the main topic in the next screencast. Just so far, with these listed sources, you can enrich your concepts with trillions of context information which waits for you freely available and machine-readable in the Internet. In this screencast, you discovered how fast you can build the Sorai and set the single concepts in relation to one another. It is still more interesting to enrich these concepts with more context. Now we want to show you in the next screencast more features of Pool Party and describe in more details terms such as linked data, uniform resource identifier, and the metadata administration in Pool Party. As always, if you should have any questions, we want to hear from you. If you've become impatient and want to start with Pool Party on your own, use the appropriate form on our website in the main menu under Try It. See you at the next screencast.